well, I definitely try to do my part when it comes to recycling, mm -hmm. but I still feel like I'm throwing so much away. Uh, yeah, there's some of those everyday items that we can't recycle that can now be tossed for the good of the economy with the Hefty Energy Bag Program. So how does it work and how can you get involved? Welcome from Dow Chemical Company, Jeff Wooster, and from First Star Fiber, Dale Goobles. Welcome. Good morning, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank Happy to be here. In. I was reading up on this yesterday and I'm very curious. It's I think cool. it's fantastic. So tell our viewers, what is the Hefty Energy Bag Program? So it's an innovative program that allows consumers to put their non-recycled plastic packaging and other plastic items into a special orange bag, which is the Hefty Energy Bag. Mm -hmm. They can then deposit that bag in their curbside recycling bin. It gets collected with their other recyclables sent to Dale's facility right. uh, where he sorts it and then we use it as an energy resource. Yeah, well there's so many items out there that I feel like we're not recycling. We're not taking advantage of, because we you know I've got the recycle bin at my house, right. but there's certain plastics you can't put mm -hmm. in there. Exactly. Can we talk about those plastics? Which ones are they? And for people that do recycle all the time, they, they probably know what yeah. those are. Well, there's uh, a variety of things that we've never thought could be recycled, and, and we're not recycling them now, but mm -hmm. they are a good source of energy. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about potato chip bags, candy mm -hmm. wrappers, straws, um, fast food containers. Uh, the, like the, the, foam, the, foam the foam containers yeah. is exactly. what you're talking about. What about like uh, grocery bags, plastic grocery bags? Those are actually pretty recyclable if they go back to the grocery stores. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, there's a program in most of the grocery stores and a lot of the retailers where they will take the plastic bags back and they get made into plastic lumber. Mm -hmm. They can go into the energy bag if you can't get to the store or whatever, but we prefer that they go back to the store because they can be made into plastic lumber. What we're talking about with our materials that we're focusing mm -hmm. on for the energy bag are things that are multi-layered, uh, a lot of different resins, um, too complex to currently be recycled, mm -hmm. but in the future we're hoping that's where we go with it as well. So we have an idea of what can go in the orange bags. What are some items that absolutely should avoid being put in there? <laughs> well, we need to avoid putting anything that would contaminate the system in there. So we don't want to put in glass bottles or aluminum cans or paper. We really don't want to put in any food contamination. So if you've got a package that had food in it, like a salad bag or a shredded cheese bag, you want to be sure to empty all the food out and use the food up. We want the food to be eaten. Um, and then just put the plastic into the bag uh, and making sure that you keep the contamination out of there. It's also important that consumers remember to recycle their regular recyclables, mm -hmm. uh, like their detergent bottles and their milk bottles, in the recycle bin the way that they always mm -hmm. have. So those items are still recyclable. We want those to go into the recycle bin. The Hefty Energy Bag is for the non-recycled plastic items. There was a pilot program that took off. It was a couple years ago then, in, in a different city, but mm -hmm. now this is in Omaha. And, and only Omaha. in Omaha, right? That's right. It, this time it's just in the Omaha area. Yeah, so can you give us the history on that program and how it got to Omaha and then where you see it going from here? Sure. So we started with a uh, pilot program in Citrus Heights, California a few years ago. And we learned from that program that, in fact, we can collect these materials mm -hmm. and we can convert them into a usable energy resource. And people so, actually will do and it. And people will yeah. actually do it and they'll follow the instructions and the bags can go through the system and be sorted and everything can work like it needs to. But we really needed a permanent partner that was willing to implement the program mm -hmm. on a permanent and ongoing basis. And so that's when we found First Star uh, here in Omaha and they agreed to be our partner. And so uh, we're very happy to be able to implement the program uh, in Omaha and we're expanding it throughout the area, making it available to more people so that we can get more participation. And now I know I'm really interested in getting involved in this program. Can anyone in the area participate? They can. Um, all the local haulers uh, will accept it at the curb. Um, in the city of Omaha, you put it in your little green bin. Mm -hmm. um, the city would ask that you try to get it in there so it doesn't blow out, mm -hmm. which is uh, uh, very understandable. Uh, but you can also, if you live in an apartment and you do not have curbside service, all the drop-off uh, centers in the area just put it in with the other recyclables at the drop-off. So, yeah, it is open to everyone. Now the bin that we're looking at right here, the orange bag, and it's got a mm -hmm. bin there. Will those are those going to be stationed somewhere, or is that just for display purposes only? No, they are stationed. Uh, if you've been down to the Century Link. Mm -hmm. um, they're one of the first and only uh, convention centers in the country that have the energy bag program there as well. So when you're at a Creighton game or wherever, uh, look for the energy bag and for these bins. And there's a lot of things that you can buy, obviously, at the uh, events 
that can go right into the bag when you're done. Mm -hmm. Well, I love that we're doing our part here in Omaha. So uh, the big question is, how can we get the bags? Where do we find them? Well, uh, Hy-Vee grocery stores all carry it um, right in the aisle with the other uh, trash bags and so forth. So you'll find them there. Uh, you can also get them online. And uh, customers of uh, Waste Connections can uh, actually uh, get them right from Waste Connections. So yeah. And businesses the can, can businesses take part in this as well? They can. Uh, we work with a lot of businesses that are anxious to try to get to zero landfill, and this gives them the opportunity to do that. So. Awesome. I'm so intrigued by this. I want yeah. to do my part and get out there. And, <laughs> well, the, yeah. the website's right there at the bottom of the screen, heftyenergybag.com. And the whole point of this is keeping things out of our landfills. Mm -hmm. That's right. right. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we've even given you guys one of these for your oh. uh, cafeteria. Here, yes, so. right in our break right. room. Right. We'll put that in the break room a and brand new break keep room. it over there. Yeah, yeah we have cool. some extra space. It'll fit in perfectly. Add some <laughs> color. <laughs> a little, little pop yeah, of color. Yeah, a little pop yes. of color. Yes. Thanks, thanks for coming and tell us about the program. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much. Appreciate it.